Hello, I'm Nelson Rodriguez, Executive Vice President of Competition and Game Operations and Supervisor of the MLS Disciplinary Committee. Over the last two weeks, there have been a series of plays that are likely to be compared by fans, players, coaches, and media alike. It is only natural to try to compare plays that have or seem to have similar characteristics. Each play, however, has its own context and nuance that truly makes it unique. This week, we're going to review three plays, each of which can be viewed as being similar, but all of which had separate disciplinary outcomes. One play involved Steven Lenhart and Mario De Luna, the other Paulo Nagamura and Edgar Mejia, and the third play, Eddie Johnson and Antoine Hopeno. First, it is important to understand under which parameter the disciplinary committee is reviewing a particular incident. In the play involving Steven Lenhart, whilst the referee saw the play, he did not see the actual action. The disciplinary committee decided unanimously that the play was an unequivocal red card for violent conduct. Given the egregious nature of Mr. Lenhart's actions in dragging his leg across the face and head of a prone and defenseless opponent, and also given the fact that in the prior week Mr. Lenhart had been warned against such acts that may be construed as violent conduct, the committee saw fit to levy a two-game suspension and accompanying fine. In the incident involving Paulo Nagamora and Edgar Mejia, the referee did not see the action at all. As such, the committee is not required to be unanimous in its decision to act. Nonetheless, the committee once again was unanimous in its view that the action constituted violent conduct. It was the belief of the committee that Mr. Nagamura failed to avoid his prone and defenseless opponent and that his action endangered the safety of Mr. Mejia. Given that this action was not viewed as egregious as Lenhart's, only a one-game suspension and fine was given to Mr. Nagamore. The play involving Eddie Johnson and Antoine Hopeno is different from the previous two in that the referee saw the play and ruled it was unworthy of a red card. Though Johnson's actions could be seen by some as being in a threatening manner, they lack excessive force, brutality, and did not credibly endanger the safety of Hopano. In order to act, the committee would have needed to have been unanimous that Johnson's actions were worthy of a red card. This condition was not met. We understand that there will be some who view these decisions as inconsistent. However, we actually believe it demonstrates the strength of our system that allows the latitude to judge the various shades of gray that exist in the realm of supplemental discipline. We hope you found these explanations helpful, and as always, we appreciate your support of Major League Soccer.